against this vast government censorship in our federal courts today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Attorney General uh, Landry. We, we appreciate you uh, coming here and, and testifying today as well, Senator Schmidt, and we'll let you uh, move on to your other responsibilities and we'll get to our next witnesses, but thank you uh, both for your leadership. A point of order, Mr. Chairman? The gentleman is recognized for a point of order. If he'll state his point of order. Mr. Mr. Chairman, these witnesses are being dismissed without the ability to cross-examine their statements. They've made some outlandish allegations here, and consistent with the work of this, this committee, especially this select committee, and of con congressional hearings in general, we should have the ability to question their, their statements. Yeah, it's a long-standing practice of the committee to, uh, when you have our colleagues from the other side of the aisle and uh, other uh, officials to uh, let them testify. No, 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 no. These, these witnesses, Mr. Chairman, these witnesses were direct witnesses as to the cases that they brought. These, when we bring in our colleagues from the Senate and, and other colleagues from the House, we extend them a courtesy. Many times we do not even swear them. We do not require them to take an oath. We, we allow their testimony uh, in, a, in a ceremonial or in a non-substantive way. But these two witnesses have just presented evidence that I think in part is false. And, and I would like the opportunity to cross-examine those witnesses. And if, if this... Well, those witnesses this, aren't here, uh, Mr. Chairman, point of order. You will get a chance to cross-examine Mr. Sauer. You've not stated a point of order here that I'll my, recognize the my, gentleman Mr. from Mr. Louisiana. Chairman, point of order. Is, isn't it true that even in recent Reclaiming days... Claiming my time. With, no, you're, have, you're not recognized, sir. Isn't it true that yes, even... Yes, I am. In, I, I was recognized, I, sir. He did recognize me. Well, point of order, I'm now recognizing Mr. Johnson because you're, you're not stating your point of order any longer. You're making a speech. And my point of order, Mr. Chairman, is uh, to recall, isn't it true that in recent days, even colleagues like Congressman Jamie Raskin presented testimony that was pretty salacious and was allowed to leave the room, and we were not allowed to uh, cross-examine him. Mr. Isn't that Mr. true? Mr. Chairman, Mr. in response we to the gentleman's the, the committee will abide by the custom of the salacious House. Salacious has to do with testify. sexual content, and I don't think that our colleague, Mr. Raskin, presented salacious comment. I would ask that that <laughs> Well, that, let's, that let's call it outrageous then. I'll use the same term that my colleague did. That word be taken down because it's false I think and he it's just inflammatory. Said Mr. Chairman, in debate on the point of order. Louisiana. Mr. Mr. Chairman, in debate, in the, the gentleman from Louisiana order. said it was not salacious, it was outrageous, he changed the term. We will now give him other order, Mr. Chairman. No, Mr. Chairman, in debate on the point of order, Mr. please, that was just raised. General lady from Mike. Florida is recognized. Thank you very much. And the Attorney General is not from, uh, Mr. Landry, is not a member of Congress, is not extended, uh, entitled to an extension of courtesy that we give to some of our colleagues or even former colleagues. He is the Attorney General We extended of, of the state. same. I, that, would just, that, I would just say to the gentleman from Florida, we extended the same courtesy to Attorney General Landry, former member Mr. of the United Raskin States Congress, was a that member, we extended to Tulsi Gabbard, former member of the United which, States Congress. That we was a member consistent. panel. Mr. Chairman, Chairman now recognizes that was a Mr. member Sauer panel. This is not a member panel. Five minutes of testimony. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Sauer, on, the, you on the point of order, on the point of order, at least, at least, if we're not going to have the ability to cross-examine, I, I would move that we move to strike the testimony provided by uh, Senator Schmidt and, and Attorney General Landry. If we're not going to observe, you mean you want to censor it? Is that you want to censor their? I want to strike it. I want to strike it. I want to strike it. If we aren't able to to probe the, the veracity of their statements, the truthfulness of their statements. You will be given your five minutes here with, uh, when we get to the, the five minutes. They're not here. They're, they're not they're, here they're to absent. understand they, that. They're not you will be able to they ask. They have scurried can, away you with can, your complicity. You, uh, they, they refuse they to defend. They have not scurried away. They In were a country dismissed of like 330 million people, you Mr. couldn't Sauer find two people for his to defend five minutes their of statements. Testimony. That's, that's pretty disgraceful. Mr. Sauer, if you recognize. allowing them to leave is not weaponization. I don't know what is, Mr. Oh, Chairman. Yeah, yeah, right. Thank you all It'll for illustrating our Sauer, point. You Thank you. Gentlemen may proceed. Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member Plaskett. Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. I move to adjourn. The this gentleman's is, this not is a mockery. This is a mockery and a disgrace. And it's the shameful that you recognize this. The gentleman. Mr. Sauer is recognized for his five minutes of testimony. There's a motion on the floor to adjourn. Motion to, to and adjourn. And it is not debatable, it's not Mr. Debatable. If you don't know the rules of the committee, then talk to your parliamentarian. Well, you weren't recognized for your motion. Nor are you Mr. following Sauer the rules of the committee. You can't speak for out of his order. Five minutes. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're out of order. 
Mr. Sauer, Mr. you can proceed. Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member Plaskett, members of the subcommittee. Imagine a world where White House officials email the New York Times editorial board when the paper runs a story criticizing the president. They abuse the paper in profane language, 